Holly Cotton here. And let me just say how excited I am for today's episode. Like I cannot hide my excitement. If you guys follow me on social media, you know that memes, first of all, are my love language. So <laughs> I have stolen numerous memes from, from our guest that we have today. And I'm so excited to hear one, how he became this meme personality and hear his story and, and talk about also some serious stuff, projects and all of that. So First, let me introduce today's guest, who is Royce Morgan, and Royce Morgan has been a model, actor, host, motivational speaker, and nothing has brought him greater acclaim than the power of being himself, which has amassed him a great following and reputation, so we're going to talk about that too. So welcome, Royce. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here with you, Holly. Yes, yes. So when I went, let me just say, so when I did my little transition from Holly, just a regular person to Holly Cotton, mm -hmm. I, I was like, dang it. Now I got to post all my good memes in my, um, in my close friends, because you know, some of them get a little, little risque. Right, right. <laughs> so I have all these like really religious people that follow me. I have younger people that follow me. So I know that just from my own personal experience, there is some type of responsibility that you have. And I know your content that you share is all spectrums, but it's a lot of empowerment and like, let me tell you what we not going to do no more. Let me tell you how we going to handle this. So, you know, so before we get into all of the other 82 topics, that, uh, 82 uh, titles that you have, let's start <laughs> with that. Just how you started with your social media presence. Oh my gosh. And I always say really the power of being yourself. You know, I've done, I, as I said, I've modeled, I've acted, I went into that whole sphere and it was good and everything, but just when it's like when just I got real and just really started being who God made me to be, I always say, just really who I am in this world and not being afraid to show that whether it's inspirational, whether um having a bad day, just having a human experience, which we all have. And sometimes, you know, sometimes it's wonderful, sometimes it's not so pretty, but you have to work your way through it and think about that. I lost the fear of that and opened that up so much. And for some reason, it just opened up a world of people everywhere that I didn't even know existed. I always say pretty much from Hollywood to the hood, just everywhere. And it's just wonderful. So I'm like, okay, just really the power of being myself is where it started. And that has grown exponentially and I love it. And so one of your catchphrases is forget them folks. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's well, yeah, we're going we going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to keep it clean. We know, we know, but but I know you said the power of being yourself. And I think that people one they don't understand what that means sometimes. Uh, right. I have a friend and she's always like, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a life coach and I, I'm always talking. I mean, I, my new book is about self-love and she's right. like, but I don't know what that means. I need someone to tell me what is step one. How do I? And I'm like, Ooh. you, I can't tell you how to do it. So whenever Ooh. you're, whenever you come up with the thought process of being myself and forget them folks. And yeah. so how does that thought process work for you that, that you were like, okay, this isn't what I'm going to do to take ownership of me. How was that process for you? Oh gosh. I would have to say, Holly, I've been broken open. I just say, I tell people over, I said between 2016 up until now, like so much has happened in my life to break me open. I've suffered from depression. I found out I suffer from anxiety lost a parent, I said, had um, she, relationships go bad and turn sour, whether personal or business or romantic, just everything that can break you open that shows you what you're made of, even in your darkest hour where you just really have to learn how to love yourself and be patient with yourself and just really who you thought you were. It's just, you don't, you didn't even know who you could be, really. Just things that teach you, you don't even know what's inside of you until 
you are really tested and tried and life has to teach you just from the root of ugliness and just to grow something beautiful again. And that's just really, that is true self-love there. If you can just be patient with yourself and just take the time and just really get there and just allow yourself to feel life, feel whatever it's going to be. And you know what? Sometimes, like I said, it gets a little ugly. It can be, it can be a little ratchet at times, but you know what? It's okay. It's, you know, you're just really going through the experience. And as long as you just have faith that you want to come out the other side of this better and just, you know, stronger, wiser, and just more emotionally mature in every which way, just, it's just forget them folks. Because really, like I said, people can impact you and you don't know how much hurt or just things that you've kind of done, you have to unpack that's happened in your life that's gotten you to this place. And like I said, with that, with some therapy and just not being afraid of showing it, no matter how that may look, no matter how you may be viewed, once you get to that point and you get to that, forget them folks, FTA movement. It's, yes, it's, you get it's, there. Ooh, it's so liberating, it's isn't it? It really is a beautiful thing. It's liberating. You don't take no mess off, no body. Of course, you're open to love at the same time. Anybody try you, bam. Mm -mm. We ain't doing that. It's so easy. Like you're pretty much not going to tolerate a bunch of mess. It's beautiful. It's not a negative space to be in. It's, it's really a beautiful thing. It's no negativity. You're not angry. You're not bitter. You're not sad. Well, what life did to you, you're just elevated. And that's a beautiful thing. I love, I love that Royce. I love that. And, and that's the whole thing about self-love is that when you get to that point of loving yourself, it's like, I, let me mm -hmm. tell you, you know how hard I work to find this piece. You know how hard it, how, how much work it was for me to get to this point where I am happy. And like you said, just, just comfortable in your own skin, doing what you want to yeah. do. Like you ain't about to let nobody mess it up. <laughs> yeah, I think like I said, you throw dirt on my name and flowers go, I would be mad too. You That's know what? I, now hold up. No, I'm stealing that one too. <laughs> That's my thing. I, I would be mad too because like I said something just beautiful bloomed and and it's quite crazy also even some of the I guess people that may have taken you through that you don't hold any anger because really without it you just really you couldn't have become this person and known what you were made of. So it's like, how am I going to experience something beautiful or just really love myself completely if I'm holding on to this anger of what happened to me? Right. And I had a guest and she's a, she's an international speaker and Dr. Mm -hmm. Alyssa and oh my God, let me tell you, I caught the Holy Ghost like five times when I was on the show. With her. Ooh, she, yeah, she was like the push of pain opens the pool of possibilities. And I was like, Ooh. oh my God, first I need to get down on a t-shirt. But okay. it's so true. <laughs> it's so true because <laughs> it's like you said, with you and, and going through, I'm a mental health advocate and a nurse. So I'm, mm -hmm. I've done psych and, and all of that as well. And I, I have a huge, huge, uh, I guess, experience background with mental health disorders and depression, anxiety, all of that. So I love that you are very vocal about that because a lot of people, especially men, you know, that's the whole thing. Now we're pushing men, men's mental health, men's mental right. health. And when people see you, you have this, you know, toothy smile, you're handsome, you know, you're like, I, I got it going on. I'm modeling and doing this. So no one would look at you and say, he's depressed. He's depressed. So can you just give us some insight into that? I don't want to get too deep, but I know that you have been vocal about it, but yes. just how you found out that that was something that was going on that you would have to deal with. Oh gosh. It, I got to such a dark point. It's like everything that's crashed down to me at once. I had a relationship to go down the drain. Like I said, I moved to Atlanta and things that I thought were going to happen for me were not happening at all or slowly just, or not at all, uh, came to find out my, my dad, like I said, was in the early stages of dementia, and, oh, goodness, it was a lot. And I just, really, I had never been that dark and low in my life, and then one day I had to face it and own it. As a matter of fact, I still had to post, actually, in my phone to this day where I actually go back to where I actually 
because I had nowhere to turn. So I turned to social media just to just let them know that, yeah, really, I'm just really, I am depressed. I don't know what to do, but I have faith that I'll prevail and I'm going to do the work. But right now I just feel worthless. I always call it, I always call 2007 through 2018 my blue year because it, it, it looked like everything was blue. It's like, every, even I think back on the time, it's just a tenth of blue. And just from that, like I said, I learned and then I kind of started, like I said, getting back into therapy and packing some things there. And also going on social media and, oh gosh, one thing I can tell you about social media, even though like I said, it grew and I have no shame, but it seems like when you're in a very mad, negative place and you're throwing it out, it seems like the people just love you. That's so crazy. They, they love conflict and drama. Exactly. At your worst, they just love you. Just saying, you're just saying all these things. Like I said, I need, I need the hands of God stretched to me at that time. But at the same time, I was saying just, oh, it. I say everything. I was saying everything but a child of God. I'll say that. And anyone who came me the wrong way could get it. And <laughs> I was really in that space. And I knew I the dog. Know. Look, the puppies, the kittens. You was on. You was on one with everybody, Royce. Said, with with everyone, like I said, the cat. I was like I said, the cat. I was gonna shoot, kick you to the side. Even though I would not kick the cat. But at that point in my time in my life, it was just like it was like that. Everything was just horrible, and I knew I didn't want to feel that way. It didn't feel healthy to me. I mean, it even showed, like I said, in my features that I just really was not my best self at that time. Because I even look at pictures of myself back in that time. I'm like, oh my gosh, I was going through it for real. And <laughs> even, oh gosh, of course, uh, you know, you know, they had the memories of years ago when you posted this and this. And I can look back at it and I say, oh, I was mad today. Oh, I was real mad. Right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I say that all the time. Like whenever they do what I look like nine years ago on Instagram. Because I always, every morning I go to uh, create and then I go to the yeah. time drop and it'll be nine years ago, six years ago. And I was in a terrible marriage and I was like, I was really, you know, like I, I was going through it. Right. And I was just miserable all the time. And I look at those pictures and I, I'm like, I, people must think I got a facelift. They must think I did some work because I just felt like I, I was so drained all yeah. the time. And now I just feel like I have this glow in my skin and I just feel, you know, I mean, I was before a ring light well, and stuff too. But... I, I, I got to get that skin. You popping. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm glad that you, you did mention that because people don't realize the toll that mental health has on you physically right. as well as mentally. It, exactly. So what, what I want to sidebar on that and ask you is, do you feel like when you were going through that, and I know you've had so many jobs and we're going to talk about some of the other things that you did, but yes. just with your social media presence, do you feel like that sort of showed you a passion that you had, like when you were able to pull yourself out, is that how you found like, you know what, this is something I feel passionate about and I want to start making other people feel better. Oh my gosh. It's so, you know, Holly is so crazy. And of course that was the thing. Cause I started getting messages from, oh my gosh, so many different people that even whether I was really giving inspiration or making people laugh I, or just different things. I got people to tell me I, Help them get through cancer treatments. I help them leave a domestic situation. Um, pretty much, oh gosh, on my pad, men and women reach out to me about just really, like I said, when they were in bad marriages and I gave them the strength to leave or decide what they were going to do. And just those things, those things always show me just, okay, okay, so there, this is my why. This is maybe I'm meant to do this. And just where I said, when those things just really open up and I've had people actually break down and cry in front of me, actually meeting me in person. I'm like, oh, wow, this is, this is deep. Right. Cause like, it's always very overwhelming cause you just never know. Cause I'm like, I'm just being myself, but I'm like, I said, if, I said, if it moves you in any way, like I said, I'm truly humble. I'm truly humble. I don't take it for granted at all ever. Well, and I think that that's also, I, I love that you're so humble about it because that's that's such a, actually a, a touching thing to to touch people and and because of social media the people that you're touching are not even in Atlanta or not even close by like you're touching people 
all over the world because I know they sharing them means some of them I'm like, I'm like, share, share. <laughs> so, so you're putting your, your Royce stamp on people that are not just local. So I know for you to, you know, have that stamp and still be so humble. That just says so much about your, your, you know, your character right there. So I love it. I love it. I love yes, it. I always feel like we're all, we're all going through a human experience at the same time. That's the one thing we all have in common, no matter what it is. We're all dealing with a human experience. Right. And sometimes one of their memes, cause you, and, and it's so funny because it'll, it'll say something like, I swear it's like, how does he know what I'm going through today or something? Cause it is like, somebody will try you. And I try to keep that nice Holly cotton and they try me. Mm -hmm. And then I'll see one of your posts and I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> he must have right known what time. I'm going through. Right on time. Yeah. <laughs> right on time. Right on time. I love that. I love that. So let's just talk about some more things about Royce Morgan and what all of that, you know, that's just one thing underneath the whole umbrella. Like, yeah, you're, you know, whatever. But can you tell us about, because like I said, you know, for anyone that's listening, that's not seeing this clip and they're listening to the audio, uh, Royce is very handsome, great teeth. I'm a teeth person too. So I, he's got the smile. He's got the look. So tell us about some of those other things that you've done, like uh, acting, modeling, motivational speaker. Give us the insight into the other parts of Royce. Oh, yes. As, as far as modeling, um, I started modeling when I was 18. And did that, like I said, my hometown of Memphis, Tennessee. Then kind of got away from that for a moment. Then some years later, came through. Um, this radio contest thing came through about 2008, which I happened to win. And that got me into more opportunities. So once again, they got me into commercial modeling and like said, doing television commercials and booking those things. So I, I did that from there. That's what got me into the whole Instagram thing because I was told I would need Instagram. And I was like, I really did not want to get an Instagram. I'm like, there's too much social media going on. And as a matter of fact, we have threads came out today. But <laughs> Oh my God. Why was I why was I up so late last night? I was like, Holly, go to sleep. This is some BS. Go to sleep. <laughs> oh yeah. I said that was me today. I'm like, okay, this okay, this threads thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I did the same thing. I'm like, dang, they pulled me in. They pulled me in. Okay, we're going to sidebar about that at the end. Yeah, right, go ahead. So I, I, so I got into that. So, of course, that started with the modeling and everything. But at the same time, I'm a person who, I have personality. I said, think about me. Like I said, if anyone who knows me personally, you know, I, I like to laugh. Um, I like to just really have deep conversations. I'm a person you can have a deep conversation with one moment. We can be laughing the next. Go back to deep conversation. Go to dinner, whatever. Like I said, I'm a person. I can keep up and you can do anything with me. I'm always told I have a certain energy so i've been told um but so from there i got on instagram so that started and just over time like i said in the social media sphere you tend to grow and really just really you learn things about yourself and that opened up a world of i guess people i admire telling me they admire me people i admire for years it's like oh goodness and actually having genuine friendships with these people that are developed over the years not just yeah about social media or a little hollywood thing but just really genuine connection and i just feel genuine connection with that not even just a celebrity just like i said people like you said all over the world from africa australia asia just all these places and just really connecting you were just really tapping into yourself and no matter what that is and really also allowing yourself to not only put it out there, but really enrich your life and just pull from other places and grow yourself. So I did, I've done that. So, okay. Well, yeah, back into what I was doing, I just mentioned all that. I'm, I'm sorry, Holly, but, um, Hey, I love it. I love the motivation. But, I love it. I love it. Keep I going. Said, but of course, really, if I said from the social media presence, that's what opened up opportunities for me to ask if I want to, like I said, I host events. Um, like I said, where I, for example, I say I had to do a book. Yeah, I've done books. Um, I've done relationship panels. I've done self-love, self-help. And that's pretty much got me TV interviews and articles based on just the power. I always go back to the power of being yourself because that's all this is for me. Like I said, everything I do, I was speaking with a friend earlier and just really, I, they like said, so what do you do? I said, really, my brand is just being myself. That is it. 
and that's what's opened up everything. I right? said from hosting to radio to other TV opportunities, which I pretty much go back and forth on. Like, hey, that looks good. Or it's also certain things I'm not going to be on TV just to be on TV. I'm sorry. I right? said, because I have lots, lots of friends who are reality TV stars and it's just certain things I just want to, yeah, as far as my narrative goes, I said, I don't want that to be, yeah, selling my soul. So I really think about that. I said, but I get opportunities to do that. But the right thing comes along, I say, I'll do it. And I said, also, I have different agents asking me about acting again. So we're going to see what goes on with that. <laughs> right, right. And I'll tell you this, too, about the reality thing. I've gotten approached so many times about reality stuff, too. And yeah. I think because, one, this actor uh, writer strike really showed the the how there's this over here with the scripts and everything and how it can shut down a whole industry yeah. so i think that m more studios are like okay well we don't need to be relying on them so i think reality tv is definitely it but i i said the same thing royce i was like i it has to be something positive like it has to be something about women empowerment or whatever right. I'm not going on no dating show and kissing 18 men. I'm, I have kids. Like I'm, I would never embarrass them like yeah, that. I'm not, I'm not be, on t be on TV. I said throwing drinks and I said get into brawls. Out of yeah, that's not me. <laughs> Right, right. Because look, look, Royce, it's like we're here, like I'm Holly Cotton and you are the Royce Morgan. But it was only a few years ago where I was just regular Holly Ray and I will whoop your ass <laughs> and you were Royce. <laughs> before the Royce you were Royce you was like uh, you know what you could get something today if you try yeah, so we, we it's, it's, it's not that <laughs> so because it's not that far away I feel like if I'm put in a situation I'm like don't let this fool yeah. you okay don't let this defined person fool you listen that, that's the thing like I said just like I said believe me like I said I'm, I may be removed from that but I'm not too far removed to reach back into that so please <laughs> right <laughs> forget them folks forget, forget them, them folks, folks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yep, so one of the questions that i want to ask is every time we're talking about growth and especially a social media growth yes with that comes more exposure people in your business people trying to feel like they have a personal connection to you. Yes. And I think with that, they feel like it gives them a permission to get out of pocket with you and say negative things back to you and comment on your stuff yes. and say certain things. Cause I know I I'm always like, I keep my pop-ups on because I'm like, you know what? I'm not even going back and forth with you, but I get men all the time that comment, never women, but always mm -hmm. men. I know you don't think you cute or this is so stupid or you shape like SpongeBob, like just stupid stuff. And I'm like, should I entertain this today? And then I'm like, you know what? It's not even worth it. So with you having that growth mm -hmm. and with you posting such a large, uh, I guess a, a large, I don't want to say genre, but just it's, it's kind of like a, it's a broad spectrum of memes yeah. and, and content. Do you ever have like negative feedback or people coming in and saying negative stuff? Oh, absolutely. People like that. They, <laughs> of course, like I say, I saw you, I call you the, the thumb thugs. They want to have their moment with you. And my thing is, if you have that much time and that much energy to put into something that you see, I said, on your little smartphone and you just really, 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 whatever part of your day, you want to get that out and you want to have your moment, I say you will be promoted to the block list. Because that was my thing. Like I said, now, of course, back in my blue era, yeah, like I, said, I had time. And not to mention, like I said, I've gotten in trouble on the, yeah, the uh, platforms before, like I said, for cussing someone out. So I'm like, um, I've worked hard on this. I'm not, I'm not about to let you take me off my poach. Like I said, so, so sometimes they'll read you back in. Now, it's, it's funny someone can do it to you, but of course you go back to someone, then all of a sudden, you get accused of bullying someone or being inappropriate with your language. But I'm like, but, but they started with me. <laughs> so I always say that's the thing that also kind of taught me how to reel it back in and tolerance and just kind of knowing, okay, that's someone who wants your day. Uh, if you see me in person, keep that same energy, then we can have a talk then. That part, but, right. <laughs> but you never meet a hater. Never 
the hate. Right. Everyone loves you when they meet you. Right, right. Facts, facts. And so what I also wanted to also talk about is when we we were talking about all your different entities that you have and all the things that you were doing. Yeah. And not only are you into fashion and modeling, but I know that you also are a designer and you also have something that is the Royce Morgan brand. So tell us about that and how we can support you with Why, that. Thank you. Thank you. I have here, these here, these beauties, these are your Royce sunglasses. Yes, they are Royce, named after Royce. Well, that's me. And you can get these babies over at HiveLife.com. And you just, uh, so tell them Royce sent you. And pretty much, because the, the first, I think, I think they're back in stock now, but the first two rollouts actually sold out, which I thank my supporters so much for that. I said every, I said we have five different styles of the Royce gla- sunglasses here. And the first two, they actually sold out in fast. So, like, so let me put these on here. Mm. So, like I said, please, like I said, get yours. Like I said, you will, as I said, hivelife.com. And like, let me tell you, in the summer, too, like I said, sun's beaming. Like I said, you can have your Royce with you. And I will be so honored. And I hope you love them as much as I love you, beautiful people. Yes. Okay, I love that. I love that. I have to get a pair. One, I am a huge sunglass collector. My daughter is always like, if I see, if, like when we walk in, in the mall and I see Sunglass Hut, she will literally grab me and like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm like, but let me just, they might have some cute ones that I don't, and I have so, I have a whole box like this big in my yes. car. With nothing but sunglasses. I'm like, cause some days, <laughs> some days I feel, you know, risque. Right. Some days I feel thuggish. I don't know right. what I'm on. What I'm on. And what that's I'm my on. thing also, cause I had so many sunglasses, and with Hive, I was buying so many sunglasses. They pulled me to the side, like, so, so look, if we're gonna get your own style, I said, my own style named after me. Let's do it. <laughs> See, see, see. So, hey, if anybody wants to do a HC sunglasses brand, let me know. <laughs> Come on. I said, HC, get with it. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Uh, so, Royce, what about um, the last question that I have is kind of just to go into just in general, because you do so many things and you're a part of just so many things going on right now. So, what is one way that people can support you or find you follow you like how can we support yes, you absolutely uh, you can support me um you can find me on instagram at the royce morgan and also i said facebook the royce morgan and anything you want to book me for as far as a panel a podcast like i said any event like i said i pretty much like, said, like we did this podcast here like I said, I check everything, so I handle all that myself, hands-on, because I really have to, like I said, I have to be hands-on and love what you do for me to actually put my name on it, but like I said, I'm very open and love just really a way for us to actually, you know, connect and help each other any which way we can, so you can come there and, like I said, we can talk, and I will be glad to talk with you. So let me just ask you this, Royce, because, you know, I just I just released my book, Somebody's Wife or Not, Discovering Self-Love and Single Life, available on all platforms. So (laughs) so what is what if you were on a panel that was talking about relationships, because like you said, we did self-love. We talked about mental health. We are giving you given all these different avenues of Mm -hmm. Royce. So. What what is some advice that you have about for single people that are out here struggling looking for love? If let's just say you're on my relationship panel right now, and there's a bunch of single people and they're looking for love and they can't find nobody, and what what's your what what's your answer to the question? My answer to that it? first of all, like I said, we started self love, and have you really taken the time to know and understand and know that who you are? whether with or without someone is who you're going to be. I said, notice you're really grounded in yourself and know that you are really open to give and receive love and a healthy love and just knowing what that is and what it looks like and 
just knowing what you will, them will tolerate. And just really, of course, like, so relationships are a lot of give and take, but at the same time, when you find a lot more being taken away from you and you're giving even way more than that and you're losing yourself, why well, I said it's not worth it. So really just make sure you've done that work to really know and also take your time and just really nurture and invest and grow because you're in a relationship. Like I said, you become one with this person and you should really have to not be a red flag collector also. Like I said, one red flag, I said, that's enough right there. But like I said, but be rational within your reasoning of your red flag. But, but like I said, pretty much like I said, if it's just a bl- red flag right there, like I said, no, it is not a tinge of pink or orange. It's red. Recognize it. Don't go forward just thinking you can tolerate their deal with. You know what you can and can't deal with. So just really, my thing is truly being patient with yourself, making sure chemistry is a huge thing, and just knowing really, like I said, what you want and like I said, what you will and will not tolerate and just really being honest with yourself and all of that. Just really, that's my thing right there. Just be honest with yourself and what you want and just really make sure you're not on a timetable or trying to, you know, meet a quota because, you know, we're all, we all get to a certain age and just think, well, by now I should do this. By now I should do it. No, 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 no. It's, baby, it's got to be right. It's got to be right. Well, I said, don't do that. Well, I said, no, no, no. I said, pretty much you're going to get yourself in a situation where you could have avoided completely, but you were on this timetable or felt you had to do this. And it's pretty much going to leave another fine mess for you to clean up. And you don't want to do that. Just really just think about that. That's a good point, Royce. That's a very good people. Yeah. Cause you feel like, Oh Lord, I'm getting, I'm about to be 40. Oh Lord, I'm about to be 50. Oh Lord, I'm gonna grow old. And now you, and it gets more, in, uh, it gets, um, it gets, uh, less and less <laughs> options out there. It's it, slim exactly. pickings it, out it there. Slim in pickings. And in and in the way you feel, but at the same time, my thing was, look, if, if, it, if it's not right, it's not right. <laughs> right. Like, like, That's why I say just it's like, it's like Stay pimping, Royce. Just, 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 just get it. How about the real Exactly. Forum? My thing, I always say, I had a good conversation with a friend. Like I said, no, I don't want good enough. I want great. It has to be, no, nah, it has that to be part. great for me to just go, like I said, head first, or like, boom. Like I said, if it ain't great, right. no, cut it off at eight. Right. That's what I always say, too. Every time I start talking to someone, I'm like, mm is this person going to be good enough for me to cut off all my people for Like, I can't cut all my oh. holes off for you. Like, I like, cause you know, once you do that post, like that's it, it's over it, for the, for, exa- for the exa- pimping. Once you so. put that post out there, like your whole roster gone. <laughs> is this worth it? Is it worth it? <laughs> oh my God. I love it. I love it. Facts, facts, facts. Okay. All right. So any, any projects that are coming up right now or uh, coming up soon, for anyone, because I know you're working on a bunch of stuff. I know you have, you're always in media and stuff like that. Any projects uh, yes, coming up? Right now, actually, I do have me a wonderful magazine spread that's getting ready to come out. Like I said, I'm waiting on a date so I can announce it. But like I said, I did a wonderful spread that's going to be a male's voice for women's empowerment. So I can't wait for that to come out for Cheryl Magazine. That's coming mid-August, I believe. So, of course, I'm following behind Tabitha Brown. The magazine thought enough of me to fall behind Tabitha Brown. So thank you. Thank you. Wow, that's huge. So I, I can't wait for that to drop. Then just I uh, saw so a couple of things down the pipeline I can't talk about yet, but that's coming also. Okay. So they have to follow yes, you. Please at... follow me at the Royce Morgan on Instagram. Also, I see if the Spell it Royce for anyone yes. that's listening that doesn't that can't see. Because you know yes. some of our our listeners. Okay, I said no help. problem. I'm glad to help you. The Royce Morgan, T H E R O Y C E M O R G A N. Just the Royce Morgan. That is it. Instagram threads. All right. And do you have a website or just just uh, uh social just media? Social media, pretty much. I'm very hands on, so that that's pretty much been my thing. Like I said, you're getting Royce. So. Okay, good. And then spell the website for the sunglasses um, yes. also. Hive Life, yeah. Help your vision evolve, which is Hive Life, and it's going to be H-Y-B-E Life, L-I-F-E dot com. 
Okay, perfect. Oh, perfect. All right, you guys. Uh, let me tell you something. Royce dropped all kinds of gems today. He, relationship, mental health, loving yourself, how to find that passion, make a difference, go take whatever that little voice is in your head and, and ride that train till the <laughs> wheels fall off. So I love it. I love to see people winning that's, that are doing something that they love. And you definitely are one of those people, Royce. So thank you so much for sharing thank your you story. Thank you so much for having me. We had a time today. I loved it. Good, good, good. Okay, great. Don't hang up.